Hello everybody and welcome to this evening's slightly rushed through video. Um, hopefully this will be an update as to what's been happening with Den Automation and uh, from previous comments on my previous video about Den Automation and, what, and what's happening to them, quite a few of you have commented. Uh, so there's obviously quite a few of you out there that have the Den Automation products and are wondering what's happening and why uh, your system is no longer working. So I just want to make a disclaimer at this point just to say that the information that you're about to hear, um, I can't 100% guarantee that it's correct or true. I'm only passing on the information that this person has passed on to me. So I was, I was recently contacted by a previous employee of Den Automation uh, I'm going to say recently, it was actually last night when this person uh, contacted me. Uh, they'd seen my previous video and wanted to just explain uh, what was actually going on. Um, and I think what you're about to hear is uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, it's, it's quite worrying and concerning and uh, it's a shame for everybody involved as you'll, uh, as you'll hear in a moment. So in relation to what's happening at Den Automation, um, this is what they had to tell me and I'm going to read this from the sheet uh, It's pretty much word for word and um, I've just made a couple of notes and I'm just going to read it off the sheet So uh, you can hear what's been going on Okay, here we go um, Hi Mick in regards to your video about den automation This is the formal notice that I sent out to all investors at the start of September Hi all I am a former employee of den automation I think it is time that all investors are made aware that Yasser, uh, Yasser being Yasser Katak, uh, was the inventor of the Den Automation products, the founder of the company, and I believe he's one of the directors as well. Um, Yasser has not paid staff for months. In late June, Yasser informed the staff at Den that he did not have the money to pay wages and would raise a seed RS round. Now, for those of you who don't know what Seed RS is, uh, and I didn't, I'll put a little uh, caption up there so you can see what that's all about. Um, basically, it's uh, it's an equity crowdfunding platform um, for investing in startups and latter stage businesses throughout Europe. Um, so, carrying on to pay the out, um, pay wages and would raise a Seeders round. To pay the outstanding wages. When he did not receive an adequate amount of investment to cover the wages and the several months of outstanding rent for Den office space from the Cedars round, Yasser informed us that his only option was to terminate employment contracts. Whilst he has not terminated any contracts, he has not complied with his contractual obligations including but not limited to salary commitments. Yasser is refusing to keep us updated on what is happening with the, with the company and for the past few months Den staff have been begging and pleading with Yasser to take the company into administration as many of us are suffering financial hardship. Um, I have given Yasser enough chances to make this right and I inform Yasser that I will be making this statement on Seed RS. After taking time, careful consideration and exhausting all options to get Yasser to take this situation, situation seriously, the only option I have left is to inform you all of what has been going on. There is no leadership left at DEN who are willing to help the staff through this difficult time and it seems that we'll be all left out of pocket while Yasser suffers none of the consequences for his actions. Uh, after I had read that, I asked the person if it would be okay to pass on this info to yourselves because I believe you need to know what's going on because you took the time and money to purchase these products um, and install them in your homes. So I think it's only fair that you know. And I was told that that would be fine. So they went on to say, it's been rough, but most staff have found new jobs. There are some investors trying to get Yasser to negotiate on a buyout so he can salvage the tech, but it highly depends on Yasser at this point. 
He's not been very forthcoming and very hard to contact. You're not kidding. This has been going on since July. The staff at Den are very proud of our work. We don't want to leave customers high and dry, but we are powerless to do anything at this stage. The tech would have worked just fine, but Yasser did not pay the server bill. Also, uh, this is just a little bit of advice uh, from them to us. Don't delete your setup. Uh, you should be able to still use your den in the home for now, but once you delete it, you cannot re-add it. Now, unfortunately, uh, at the time, I was having issues with my system. My light switch wasn't working, and I deleted my light switch from the system to try then reinstall it on the app. Um, I then found out, due to underlying issues, that I'm unable to do that. So I've now lost, lost the functionality of my light switch and the uh, motion sensor that's attached to it. Um, my two double sockets still do work. They switch on and off uh, as I've set them to and they still work fine and I can still use those. So that's a bit of a plus, I suppose, for me. If you've got the sockets, then maybe you've got the same sort of uh, situation. So if you've currently got all your, everything set up on your DEN platform, they're saying don't delete anything because it might still work. Um, so yeah, so I hope that's given you a little bit more information as to what's happening at DEN Automation. Um, and perhaps there's a glimmer, and it is only a glimmer of hope, that uh, the time and money we've spent on our DEN Automation products may not yet go in vain. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that maybe a buyout clause, as they mentioned, comes in and somebody takes it over and then we can start using the products again. Because to be honest, I was, I really liked them. It was just ideal for what I needed. And I'm sure it's the same for you guys out there. So uh, let's just see what happens. Well, I hope you found that of use. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave any comments or feedback down below. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button here or down below. And don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.